official yeah. countdown. Like, are you serious? I'm just here for the prize. Leaving me, dipping out on me already. Got what you need, I go quickly. Learn to sell through me already. Get what you need, I go. Welcome back. We are in the official countdown. It is packing slash moving week. Well, actually, I move next week, but today is this week is the week that I finished like packing up everything. I've already started packing. I have all of my pretty much kitchen packed up um, and I just have to pack up like the living room, um, which isn't much because I'm getting rid of my TV stand. Um, so all they have to pretty much move is my couch and my bed because um, I'm donating my dresser so I can get a new one. So I'm excited that I'm moving into a new place soon. Right now it's 70 degrees in Atlanta, so I'm about to go have lunch with another creator. And because it's 70 degrees, the weather is weird. So I am just wearing a um, oversized button up and some, why am I doing this? And some wild leg pants that I got from Anthropology last summer. I've been looking for wild leg pants. And you know what's crazy is I put on this outfit after I watched this TikTok of people saying that like they hate people who wear like office wear as fashion and I feel like a button up and wild leg pants trousers is giving very much office wear but it just depends on how you dress it up because I just did like these aviator sunnies and a bunch of layered necklaces and I'm gonna carry like a, a tote shoulder bag so it doesn't look like super officey but yeah this is my going to eat lunch real quick outfit and then um all of my boxes but yeah that is what I have going on this week and hopefully I can get everything packed so I can be on the way to moving because I'm so excited I can't wait something about a new place just gives like fresh energy starting over so I'm super excited and I'm glad that I'm moving right when the weather is breaking so yeah that's what I have going on but I'm going to eat lunch and I will check back in with y'all So I moved for a couple reasons. One, um, my apartment was near the pool where I used to live. It was by the pool. And while I don't mind pool noise, um, the way my apartment was set up, it was like right above like an outdoor area. And the noise like transpired from that outdoor level up into my apartment because my apartment was right above like that outdoor lounge space. And whatever lack of construction that they did, um, they didn't like soundproof that outdoor area. So not so much the pool noise, but the outdoor area. So I had to move to my apartment was like in a nook. So I didn't get a lot of sunlight unless the light was the sun was setting. So I got maybe like an hour of good sunlight. So I was like, you know what? I'm moving in the place I live in now was roughly the same amount as my old apartment for newer place, newer amenities. So I was like, you know what? I'm moving. Right now, I love my apartment because you can tell it's all white. Love it. The natural sunlight is all day long. From the time the sun rises to the time the sun sets, I get natural sunlight all day long. So I am really enjoying my place. 
I'm gonna give y'all a quick tour. I'm not gonna show the um, like outside because if you live in Atlanta and you see my view, then you will automatically know where I live. So for safety reasons, I'm not gonna show that, but um, I will show y'all like what the apartment looks like. I feel ah, so nice. So let me show you the kitchen. So when you walk in, I have my little mail thing here. And then this is the kitchen. Um, I finally found a place for my Snoop Dogg cookbook. Um, and then I have my little Nespresso toaster um, Alexa in this corner. And sink over here. Sorry, I'm making a mess, y'all. Um, so yeah, sink, beautiful stove top. Um, I'm not done setting up my desk area yet. Uh, I still have pictures I need to hang up. And then of course my couch and then, um, this, so I ordered this from Walmart and it looks way bigger on the picture at Walmart. So I haven't decided if I'm going to keep it. I see that a lot of people are getting these like low consoles for their TV. Um, I'm not sure if I'm sold on the low yet. I like the design, but I just don't like how low it is. Um, and then the selling point was the bathroom because that's where I spend most of my time in the shower, doing makeup, um, just in the mirror, like skincare. So the bathroom was like it for me. The shower. I love it so much. My closet was a pretty decent size. Um, yeah, I think the closet works for the most part. I am going to switch over soon to like spring summer stuff. But this is like the bathroom is so pretty. So, so pretty. And then my bedroom is a mess, y'all. Like, I haven't gotten anything together other than my dresser and my bed. I'm waiting on nightstands to come. Um, what else? I'm waiting on rugs to come. I'm waiting on a new bed to come. But this is a, my a new apartment. I'm super, super, super excited. Um, but yeah. So right now I am about to go to my eye doctor's appointment and then I have a laser appointment. So that's why I have no makeup because when I go to laser, I cannot wear any makeup. Um, but I'm so excited to share this and we reached 700 subscribers last night. Thank y'all. My YouTube channel, I'm slowly getting back into the groove. I think when I first started back on YouTube, I had maybe like 300 subscribers. So from 300 to 700, thank y'all so much. Um, I cannot wait to share more content with y'all. Um, I just made my smoothie. If y'all haven't noticed, like I use the Beast. This is my first time using the Beast machine. And I like it because it's quiet. Like I have my Ninja and my Ninja will wake up the whole community. So I got the Beast. The Beast is super quiet. I like that you can change the top and make it into a smoothie, straw, like all that stuff. But yeah, headed to the doctor's appointment, eye doctor's appointment, and then laser. And I think I'm going to stop by Home Goods to look at some stuff. We'll see. But I will see y'all later. Going to the eye doctor is very humbling because it just reminds me how blind I am and I can't see a thing. There's this cool little photo map of my eyes that they took a picture of. I don't really know what this means, but look at that. And then of course we have the, the letters that I can never read ever. Y'all, so I just left the eye doctor so emotional because I cannot see. I was trying to read the letters on the screen and I kept telling my eye doctor, it's blurry, it's blurry, it's blurry. And she's like, are you serious? So when she said that, it scared me because I'm like, wait, if the doctor thinks that I can't see, like I started panicking, like, oh my God, what's happening? Why can't I see? It's so blurry. My eyes weren't dilated or anything. And I'm like, it's blurry. And she kept trying to adjust it and nothing worked. So she was like, let me take a look. So she looks in my eyes. She's like, oh, your contacts aren't sitting properly because she had me take my old contacts out, put some new ones in. And she's like, oh, your contacts aren't adjusted. They're, they aren't sitting on your eye properly. So I'm like, oh my God, that scared me. But then even with the new contacts, like I still can't see. And I'm like, does vision ever get better? Like as you get older and you wear glasses, like, so it made me realize that I, like wearing contacts doesn't treat your eyes. Like it doesn't make your vision 
better progressively over time. It's just glasses, you just put them on and like, boom. It's not like a scar or like a cut or something where your eyes are messed up and you put something in it and it makes your vision better over time. It's like contacts are just... I don't know. It stresses me so much and it makes me so emotional when I see that my eyes are just getting worse and worse every year because I'm 34 and I still, God willing, I have a lot of life left and my eyes just keep getting worse every year. I'm not going to be able to see. Like, this is so awful. But I don't know. Going to the eye doctor makes me emotional because it's like when I take my contacts out, I just realize how blind I am and I cannot see. But that was a very emotional experience, so anyway. breakout right here and I popped it and I shouldn't have so that's okay okay I'll do the ends on jail. All right, you are all set. We'll see you next time. Thank okay. you. You're welcome. Can I put makeup on after this? Of okay, yeah. I yeah. want to make sure. Absolutely. Just finished my laser treatment. I'm putting on some ends on gel to kind of help like cool the area. Cause it, laser doesn't hurt. It's just like a stinging. Like it stings a little bit, like a rubber band pop. Um, but this will help like cool it down a little bit. And sometimes I have like an allergic reaction to the laser sometimes depending on what stage I am in my cycle and stuff but yeah this should help so I'm back from the eye doctor I'm back from laser I went to home goods and my little home goods haul is very small I didn't get a lot I got these amber flameless candles they're gonna go outside on my patio at night so I can have a little vibe um, on my patio I gotta add some batteries to that um, and then I got some glass Tupperware I got this I meant to this like amber looking color they had a lot of these like amber looking colors and I think I even got a candle and my candle is like an amber color which I'm really really into I thought this was really cute for the spring and it smells good it don't even have what fragrance this is oh rosewood rosewood it smells really good so yeah i'm into the amber color right now with my tupperware and my candle and these are amber flameless candles so that's my little home goods haul um i'm about to try to straighten up a little bit i still have I'm pretty much unpacked for the most part, but I don't have like, I'm waiting on my nightstands and I, there's things I put in my nightstands, like my cameras and stuff. Um, so for the most part, things are together. It's just a matter of me decorating and how I want to decorate the place. So that's what I'm trying to figure out. And there's a very fine line because I am like a minimal home decor person, but there's a very fine line between like when you go min minimal and farmhouse and I am not farmhouse style at all like I'm trying to avoid avoid farmhouse at all costs so um but yeah my color theme is like beige brown minus farmhouse so yeah 
that's what I'm doing for the rest of the day and uh, that's pretty much it I don't have a lot going on I'm trying to stay inside as much as I can because Georgia pollen is nothing to be played with um, what I haven't been wearing makeup lately because my eyes have been watering I've been sneezing so yeah but that's it for today the weather is a bit cloudy today in Atlanta it's been on and off it's the end of March so some days we get rainy days some days we get sunny days today is a rainy cloudy day which I don't mind I like rainy cloudy days they're a bit peaceful and serene to me I love a sunny day but I love a good rainy day too so I'm trying to figure out what to wear because it's like cold and rainy outside I have an event to go to tonight um which the weather is the weather is weathering so I have been enjoying my new place the only thing I don't like is that I have a neighbor who has a dog who barks, starts barking at like 7.30 in the morning. So, and I don't, I'm not sure what to do about that. I don't know if there's anything I can do because you can't really complain because the dog, I mean, the neighbor can't really control when their dog barks. I guess they can tell them to shut. I don't know. I don't have dogs. I don't know. But that's the only thing that I'm not happy about is I have a neighbor who has a very loud dog. Um, other than that, very happy with the place i love the whiteness and the brightness um it just puts me in a better mood overall my other apartment was bright but it was only bright at a certain time of the day this one stays bright all day long so i love that um so i'm trying to decide because if i should change my closet over it's it's hot like this weekend today right now it's like 64 ish 65 and I think the cold weather is gone. Like the 50, 40 degree weather is gone. I think we're floating in the 60s. This weekend it's going to be beautiful, 76, sunny. Um, so I'm wondering if I should change my closet over to like spring, summer now. I don't know. But today we got to wear a raincoat, a, a long trench jacket or something because the rain will not get to me. But <laughs> funny enough, it is. 10 30 ish 10 30 and i want lunch like i want sushi i want ramen like i want i want lunch i'm not a huge breakfast person so when i wake up in the morning i'm already like ready for for lunch i did have some cereal though but if i didn't hit it i want something warm so probably either ramen probably ramen and now i'm trying to figure out what to wear and i'm looking for trousers which is basically all i have I hate jeans. I hate wearing jeans, y'all. And I have two pair of jeans in my closet. I kid you not. One, two. Those are the only two pair of jeans I have in my closet because I do not like wearing jeans. Everything else you see in my closet is trousers. And I have tons of black trousers. I don't know how many pairs of black trousers is enough, but I have two pair of jeans. And Three, if you count these white flare leg jeans from Pre People, but that's it. Oh, these from Zara, um, which I don't really wear that much, but if you count all those, I have four pair of jeans, but I hate wearing jeans. They're so uncomfortable, and I think I've been on a search to find a good pair of jeans that I like, and I cannot find them. Like I've been to, people are saying that the Abercrombie jeans are good. I, every time I go into Abercrombie to try on jeans, nothing fits. And I go up a size and I go up a size. And it's like, they'll fit in the waist, but they don't fit in the legs or they'll fit my legs. They don't fit the waist. Like, they just don't fit. So I cannot find a good pair of jeans to save my life, which is why I only have the ones that I have. But for today, I'm going with trousers because that's what I'm most comfortable in. Right, y'all so I did all that talk and guess what I end up wearing I end up putting jeans on one of the pair of jeans I have I end up wearing them and these actually are comfortable I can't remember I want to say these came from Nordstrom somewhere I had them for years I just never wear them but I ended up wearing jeans today which is not me at all but LOTD is very casual because it's raining outside. I washed my hair yesterday, so I don't want it to get wet. So I'm wearing a hat. Uh, and then I have a little scrunchie in the back just to keep it from getting wet. Um, my jacket is from Oak and Fort, which I haven't shot there in a while. I need to go see what they have. And then this bag is from a brand called, I want to say Oleada, if I'm pronouncing it right. I'm not sure. 
but I'm on the way. But my fragrance, y'all, I have been wearing this Golden Ticket from Sniff. Y'all, it's become one of my favorite fragrances and uh, they gifted it to me and now I've added it to my fragrance collection and I'm gonna hold on to it because if you wanna smell expensive for less, Golden Ticket by Sniff smells so good so I will say it's like more on the masculine side which I don't mind that's my favorite type of fragrance um but it, it has some femininity to it so this is it um and <laughs> funny enough so y'all I'm carrying an umbrella which I never carry an umbrella but the weather is crazy right now it's windy it's rainy and I worked with a brand a shopping mall here in Atlanta and after the event they gifted us this this bag with full of goodies luxury goodies i mean i got a burberry wallet a michael kors bag um no a coach bag a burberry wallet um some wine glasses from william and sonoma a gift card to Saks, like all this fancy stuff they gave us and in the thing they included a jimmy choo umbrella which i haven't carried because i feel like it's, it's so extra to carry a luxury umbrella and I have to sometimes I don't want to carry my luxury things because I'm like who do I think I am carrying a Jimmy Choo umbrella and I don't want to seem extra or over the top or people look at me like why is this girl carrying a Jimmy Choo umbrella like she could have a regular daily umbrella like the rest of us but sometimes I feel very weird about carrying my luxury things but I'm trying to step out of that because I deserve luxury things and I deserve nice things I work hard and I don't want to be in the mindset of, oh, I don't want to carry my luxury things because people might look at me funny or think I'm extra. So today I am carrying the Jimmy Choo umbrella. So um, that is it. That is my OOTD. Y'all, I, so I don't know. Someone had asked me what I shoot on. I shoot on the DJI Osmo Pocket 3, which I love, love, love this camera because I'm a discreet vlogger. Um showing y'all my outfit but I'm a discreet vlogger and I really don't like for people to know that I'm vlogging out in public which is why I got the DJI it's so convenient so small um but it's a learning curve like learning to maneuver it um but if you ever want to know what I shoot on I have the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 I also have the Canon G7X Mark II which is phenomenal for pictures at nighttime if you know you know um but yeah that's what I shoot on um someone had asked me that earlier but I am headed out and about to run. All right, so I am dressed. I am going to an event with Ferrari today, which is crazy. Um, and Ferrari invited me to their spring, their new spring summer collection. It's at Lenox Mall um, here in Atlanta. I have to sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. So. Yes, Ferrari invited me to their uh, new launch of their spring summer collection here at Lenox Mall. So I'm going to do that. Um, I did like a little suit combo, like a blazer, wild leg pant combo because it's raining in Atlanta. So my pants are from Cost, which I love. I haven't had a chance to wear them um, often. And this is the chance. This is my time to shine and to wear these pants. But yeah, um, I love these pants because of the material and they're so wide leg. Um, my blazer is from H&M and I just did a little belt so I can have some pizzazz. Uh, but yeah, this is my outfit. Uh, let me, I need to find a place to put my mirror so I can give y'all like a full shot of the outfit. Um, but yeah, I'm headed to Lenox Mall. Pray for me because we in Atlanta, y'all going to a Lenox Mall is rare for me i don't ever do that so this is going to be a situation but yeah i'm headed out that's my notification for me to leave now but this should be fun um i haven't been to an event with ferrari i don't go to many luxury events anyway but i love this for me and i'm super excited so see y'all there
what is this brand called? Initio. Initio. Initio Atomic Rose. That's not Atomic Rose. Atomic Rose. Hold on, sweetheart. Let me fix it for you. Got it. Initio Atomic Rose. All right. I'm adding that to my wish list. And I'm adding... Oh, this one. Tiziana Terenzi. Y'all, that Ferrari event made me so hungry. And they had little hors d'oeuvres there that I didn't want. Um, so now I'm at McDonald's ordering some french fries. Also, I had two glasses of wine and I don't drink like that. So two glasses of wine is a lot for me and I'm hungry. I'm hungry. So I'm at McDonald's. I don't eat meat. So I'm just here for the fries. I'm just here for the fries. You know what? Maybe an apple pie. I have not had an apple pie from McDonald's in a very long time. So maybe an apple pie, but definitely, definitely a large fry. Can I have a filet of fish combo with no cheese, please? Can I, you make sure the fish is hot and the fries are hot? Um, can I just do a sweet tea? Is that all? Uh, yeah, that's it. Alright, first one done. I don't know where that just came from. I just saw filet of fish on the menu and I just ordered a filet of fish. I don't know where that came from, but this is about to be so good. Whew, it's about to be so good. Um, so the Ferrari event was good. Um, I did not have any expectations of the event. They were showcasing their spring summer collection, um, which was a fairly okay selection. I don't really understand um, luxury cars going into the fashion industry um i feel like that's a race car thing i feel like if ferrari was doing like a race event then you would sell cars i mean sell clothes specifically for racing um so i feel like it would do good in that market but as far as walking around with a ferrari jacket or a ferrari skirt um it doesn't really make sense to me but overall, it was, and it was very expensive, like more expensive, like they had a pen for $30,000. No one's paying $30,000 for, someone will probably pay $30,000 for a pen, but people who buy luxury, um, I guess on the regular or like people like me who buy luxury, like here and there, not like an everyday thing, maybe like once a quarter or something may splurge on a luxury item. We're not paying $30,000 for a pen. So it was very much okay but thank you ferrari for inviting me to this event um i did slide into neiman marcus afterwards and i took a sniff of some fragrances there's a fragrance i did not get the brand but the fragrance is called atomic rose um i'm gonna look up the brand later to make sure i got the right brand but the fragrance is atomic rose and it smells so good it smells so good and then there's another fragrance on this hand called cab cabalia cabaria i'm not sure but the brand is called tiziana terenzi so on this hand i know the brand but not the name of the fragrance but on this hand i know the fragrance but not the name of the brand so tiziana terenzi is one of my favorite brands i have one of their fragrances called kirky it smells amazing it smells so good so um, that fragrance from Tiziana Terenzi and another fragrance from Tiziana Terenzi called Andromeda are high on my wish list. Um, so yeah, I, I slid into Neiman Marcus. I got away from the Ferrari event. It got too crowded. Slid into Neiman Marcus. Smelled a few things. Um, the lady from Creed gave me a few samples. I never really worn Creed like that, but um, I'm really, 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 really into luxury fragrances and I cannot wait to see like what I'm going to get for the spring, so... Yeah, but I'm about to smash this McDonald's because I need something to soak up the two glasses of wine that I had. It was just crazy. Hello. Can I have some ketchup, please? Just ketchup. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. 
now we can go home.